Last week we talked about things that writers worry about too much, and today I want to focus on things that writers should be more concerned with. By the way, my name is Brandon McNulty, I'm the author of Bad Parts, also the author of Entry Wounds, and welcome to my writing channel. A lot of new and experienced writers worry about the wrong things, and I talked about this in last week's video, which I will link up here, but today I want to focus on things that writers don't worry about enough, and sometimes they just overlook completely. And I'm going to give you six tips, and we're going to discuss why they're important and why you need to be concerned about them. The first thing you need to be concerned about is finding the time to write. This may sound obvious, but you'd be surprised how many writers don't make an effort to set aside time to write. And sometimes what they do, they have a golden opportunity to write on like a Saturday morning or Sunday morning or, or maybe in the middle of the afternoon when nobody's around. And instead of writing, they just waste time on Facebook or they waste time doing other things that take them away from their goals. If you want to accomplish things as a writer, you need to sit down and do the work. The number two thing writers should concern themselves with, finding the time to read. A lot of writers make an honest effort to write. They write every single day, they write as often as they can, or whatever it is. But sometimes when they're so focused on writing or they're focused on getting that, those words down on paper, they forget that they also need to read. They need to take in new ideas. They need to expose themselves to new concepts and new stories. They need to figure out what a good sentence looks like or what a good paragraph looks like or what a good story looks like. And if you don't set aside some time to read, you can forget these things and your writing can suffer as a result. The number three thing writers should be concerned with, understanding plot structure, scene structure, and character arcs. And this applies especially to newer writers. Because if you're a newer writer, you probably jumped into the craft of writing and you said to yourself, well, okay, I'm just gonna start writing things and I'm gonna learn things along the way and I'll eventually be a great writer. And maybe you focus on one particular aspect of the craft that you like a lot, maybe like dialogue. You, you, maybe you love movies and you love movies that have great dialogue, so you wanna write your own great dialogue and you're really focused on this. But I think the most important things to focus on with a story are plot structure, scene structure, and character arcs because these are what make up the skeleton of your story and if you're writing a longer work like like a novel or a screenplay you need to get that structure solidly in place it'll save you a lot of time and frustration and it's just something that's ultimately valuable even if you plan on breaking from traditional plot structure. And I've done some videos on these topics in the past I will link them in the description below I'll also put a link up here. Number four thing writers need to concern themselves with, writing their first novel as soon as possible. A lot of writers have this grand vision for their first book. They think that it's going to be this smash hit, this international success, this massive bestseller. And because they have such a, a grand vision for it, they tend to spend way too much time actually writing it. They, they overthink things, they rewrite sections again and again, and they, they spend years on it before they actually get to the end. And this is a problem because oftentimes when writers get to the end of their first novel, they realize that it kind of sucks and it's kind of just this generic thing that's been done before. And that happened with my first novel. And for the record, Bad Parts was probably my sixth or seventh novel that I actually wrote. But the first novel I ever wrote, I was in my early 20s, and it, when I got to the end of it, I realized that, yeah, this totally blows. I could just move on from this. And I think that's an important thing to keep in mind. You can move on from something, and the only way you can know if it's worth moving on from is if you write a novel from start to finish. You just have to write one novel from start to finish, just so you know what the whole process looks like. Number five thing writers should be concerned with, getting feedback on their stories. If you want to make improvements as a writer, if you want to grow and develop, you need to share your work with other authors. You need to get feedback and you need to get ripped apart from time to time. And that's totally okay. It's going to hurt, it's going to suck, but it's going to be worth it in the end because every time somebody points out something that, oh, you're doing this wrong or you have this bad habit in your writing, you can address those issues and get better over time. It also helps if you listen to other writers getting critiqued. Sometimes when you're in a critique circle and you hear somebody else's story getting torn apart, you learn things and you're not as defensive about it. You see somebody else getting torn apart because their intro was slow and boring and you ask yourself, hmm, maybe my intro is a little slow and boring. I need to take Take a look at that. But you're more open to those kind of things because you're not the one getting ripped apart. So it helps if you find yourself in a critique circle, maybe even online critique group. Those kind of things can help you move forward as a writer. And then the number six thing that writers need to be concerned with is setting concrete goals and hitting them. 
Whatever stage of your writing career you're at, you need to give yourself some concrete goals to work toward. Otherwise, you will just be moving about aimlessly through your career. If you don't tell yourself, I want to have five chapters written by the end of this month, or I want to have a novel written by the end of the summer, or I want to have a novel published by the end of next year, or I want to have an agent by next summer, or whatever it is. You need to shoot for concrete goals, and you need to try and hit them as best you can. You're not always going to hit them, and that's okay, but if you have a concrete goal and you challenge yourself to get something done by a certain time, you will make greater strides as a writer. So I hope this helps. Question of the day, which one of today's tips did you need to hear the most? Most. Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support the channel, please pick up a copy of either one of my novels. Also, be sure to check out my other videos. Hit the like and subscribe buttons for me. Share this video with a friend. And as always, remember to keep on writing.